Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here, and I feel like a complete idiot. Basically, as I'm in, you know, a matter of speaking, I now know where the fire exit is on floor one. Well, I mean, like, there is some credibility to me there because it's, you actually don't get to the fire exit from the first floor, you get to it from the second floor. So in this episode, I'm going to start by showing it to you, and the main reason I'm going to do that is because it is relevant to gain this next Jinjo that we have to get. Um, there's also gin another Jinjo we can get before uh, taking on the next bit of this world, but I'm just going to go ahead and, um, you know, start that before getting that last Jinjo, because you can also get it, you know, as your alternate form, because that's what we're going to be doing next after this. So anyways, uh, as Banjo alone, we're going to go to the second floor, actually. Because, again, that's where the fire exit on the first floor is accessed from. So, we're going to go outside, right, we're outside Wombo's Wigwam here. Alright. And I think I did actually find this uh, earlier, you know, in one of the earlier episodes, but I thought it, would it took me somewhere, somewhere completely different on the first floor. So, yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense, honestly, that I didn't find this before. So here it is, down to floor one. This does not actually take you down the first floor, it actually takes you down to the first floor's fire exit. Which is kind of dumb, but yeah, it's just how it is. Um, there is a window here, I guess, right? Yeah, there is, you can kind of see it from here. Because Kazooie's like right in there, so yeah, that's the lobby right there. So if you can see through this window, then you can see it right here. So you hit the switch, and open the door on the other side. So, as Banjo alone, we're going to go straight out there and we're going to hit that switch so that way Kazooie can go get the Jinjo that's up in the dent. Uh, well, not dent, but, you know, in the crevice higher up in the, on the building, on the side of the building. So there you go. That's how we, that's that problem solved. So Banjo can stand on the switch right here. Conveniently, they have a swap cloud right there so you can swap to Kazooie while Banjo's standing on that. Otherwise, it's, uh... Jinjo would be impossible to get, just without that one swap cloud right there. Alright, now Kazooie is going to follow in uh, Banjo's footsteps by going to the second floor, and we're also going to get to the fire exit from that way. Because the last thing I, I want to do at this point is go try to go a different route to make it interesting, only to find myself getting lost and then wasting like five minutes of the episode again, just like I did the past few episodes. So let's do this the right way. Hell, I'm actually kind of concerned about this next part, you know, being in our, in our transformation. Because, uh, let's just say it has something to do with those, uh, workers that to, whose clothes we have to clean, so... You know, the important thing that you have to keep in mind when getting, being your transformation is make sure you have access to all those, uh, workers, and also, uh, be able to, um, get to them, you know? But the most important thing is knowing where they are. So as Kazooie separately, we're going to destroy this box, get these uh, claw clanger boots, and make sure you don't fall into the goop. And then you can make your way up these footprints to that Jinjo. Very simple Jinjo to get to, it's just knowing how to get to that fire exit, and then you pretty much get to go from there. Alright, and it is a black Jinjo too. So there's only two of them left, and we'll finally have that family complete, so let's go ahead and fall, because we, we're not worried about fall damage here. Obviously. Now, even though you don't have fall damage to worry about, um, the game is still going to, by instinct, uh, still show your health anyways when you fall. But just don't don't worry about that. Okay, so now, conveniently, also since we're right next to the second floor, just by going up this fire exit here. We can go straight to one buzz and transform into our alternate transformation, which I've been holding off, you know, up until this point. Uh, but for good reason, because we now officially have everything unlocked. Everything is accessible now to this form. At least it should be. It should be. You know, because keep in mind, remember that Jiggy that I revealed from uh, destroying those rubber barrels in that one room? We. Uh, hopefully we will still have access to that since I have since turned off the N64 since the last recording, so um, Hopefully that won't affect uh, me games that, would, that uh, Into that door So anyways, all right, let's pay Wumba a visit Now as I said, oh Crap, do I st don't tell me I still don't have that Globo. I still don't have that Globo. 
God. We are going to waste time in this episode. Well, we're not, because I'm going to cut straight to where that, that globo is, and we're going to get it finally, once and for all. So see you guys on the third floor, where that globo is. Okay, so there's the globo right there. It's on the, he's on that, he's on that, you know, stack of boxes there. So obviously, we need to get to him from, you know, higher up, in order to reach him. And I think in order to do that, we need to make our way to the top of this room somehow, through a ladder. Yeah, ladder. Huh. But that just takes us to this, uh... Wait, what's this? I think this is like the elevator shaft or something like that, I don't know. I think it is, I don't know for sure. Um, but either way, we've already established at this point that we can't get to him from here. We can't get to him from this ledge. We need to... Um, there's supposed to be another way. Yes, there is, over here, actually. Over here, there should be a way to... Oh, wait, uh, did I destroy this? Yeah, no! Destroy it. Gotta destroy that box right there, good. It's a good thing I did that, because that box is going to be important to us as our alternate form. Or destroying that box, you know, so we can get to the door. Maybe I should do a once around actually after this and make sure I have all those you know, boxes unlocked, because otherwise I'm going to be, you know, out of luck pretty much. Okay, so we're going up here onto these, uh, onto this little catwalk here, I guess that's what you want to call it. And. Shoot. Globo's still on the other side of the room. There's a cable right there. Well, will that still allow me to get to the Globo? I don't know, honestly. It looks like there's another pipe over there, but, uh, okay. Once again, I cannot, cannot be more thankful for that grip grab, jeez. Okay, so the Globo is... Can I make that jump? Uh, let's chance it. If not, I can always cut. Uh, yes. Please tell me this is going to allow us to get somewhere. That Globo is probably the most annoying thing I've had to deal with in this world. Well, not, no, it's not. Not even close, man. Not even close. I think this Globo has been the, the least of my issues in this world. But there it is. There's that Globo. Alright. So, I'll meet you guys back at One Buzz Hut. Alright. Now, it's finally time for our transformation, the one I've been kind of building up, sort of, by saying, by, you know, by hinting at it, saying that, once again, um, we have seen this transformation before on this channel. It was actually in Banjo Kazooie as a cheat, so here it is. Oh. Maybe I should give the Globo to her, and then go through the exact same dialogue over again for the sixth time. No, seventh time, I think. Uh, maybe I, uh, maybe I won't, I don't think I'll count the overworld, actually, since it was a Mega Globo. Alright. Now we can jump in her pool now, so let's do it. Here it is, my friends. The Washer. A transformation that you can see in Banjo-Kazooie as a cheat code, but that's... But it's not really as useful as it is here. So basically, as the... No comments. Seriously, how many more stupid moments are we going to have in this LP now? Don't go into the... Thank you. Don't go back into the pool. Okay. So, this is actually more than just a cosmetic change like it was in Banjo-Kazooie. And actually, in Banjo-Kazooie, it's very humorous. If you, if you do recall how much, I la how much of a laugh I got out of seeing this in the Banjo and Kazooie. But in this game, it's actually practical. So, so here's the thing. You're, you're, first thing you're going to notice is that you are not allowed to use warp pads as the washer. You have to use those service elevators as the washer, you know, and, you know, so with that being said, you need to make sure you know where those washers are at, or washers, seriously, those, uh, service elevators are at, like, this is the one on the second floor right here, so we're gonna start with the first floor and work our way up, basically, that's how, that's how I plan on doing this, so, we all know where that one worker is on the first floor, but there's actually a second one. There's one outside of the factory, so you remember that too. And we'll be go we'll go ahead and get that one as well. Except I don't I'm not sure if I can actually from this side that is. Um, but it'll make sense later on. It's basically with the now again also with the washer you can't jump as high. Your jump is very pathetic, and that and it's for that reason that you need to 
lower this elevator in order to get to this this first worker right here. A washing machine. Can you give my overalls a quick spin? Throw them inside, and I'll give it a try. Is it safe? I don't want them to get ripped. Just drop your shorts, buddy. We haven't got all day. My god. They knew what they were thinking with the, with that dialogue there. Jeez. Yep, so we got five other workers we gotta clean up. So let's get on to it. Fortunately, I also happen to just remember, I just so happen to remember that there's also one of the workers course. We need to head down there next. So yep, this place does not exist just, you know, just for Lago's appearance. Also because you have to head down here as the washer too. So our next workmate is in here. Heavy soil wash if you don't mind. Ah. Great, we had to block it with stupid huge mechanical body. That's better. Try and find my four skivvy workmates. Their overalls will probably need a quick rinse too. How do these guys know which one of them has been washed and which ones haven't? That's weird. That's very strange. Okay. Uh, again, I'm still pretty sure we can't get to the one outside the factory from here. So, let's uh... Let's go ahead and head up to the second floor. I don't remember... Is there one on the second floor? I think there is. Let's see. I just know for sure that there's gonna be a... a, a box somewhere blocking a... a door that we have to go through. And I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna be so embarrassed. I mean, like, I can still cut to save time on the episode itself, but still, it's gonna be very annoying if that does happen. Okay, so... Uh, my stress just be go. Uh, well, let's see if let's see if we can get find one through here. Let's see. Well, no, uh, not quite. Although I guess that uh, this would be a good time for me to show. Wait. Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, I should have done this first. The electromagnet chamber. You're supposed to go there as Mumbo first, and then go there as the washer to do some, to do take care of something. But I totally forgot. So we'll take care of that last, I guess, if I can. If I can, you know, if I can do everything else, that is. Oh, down to four one. Yes, this this is the why this is what I want. This uh, fire exit is gonna come in handy for us one more time because this will lead us straight to that that one worker that's outside the factory. So thank God I remembered about remembered this. Of course, within the same episode, so what can you expect? Okay, so as the washer, you can actually go through the goop without without taking any damage, so you don't have to worry about that. So just go straight on over here, and in over here is the next worker. Let's see. Now, I want to actually be able to see this. Jeez. Oh. Now you have to press B in order to make... Oh, okay, apparently not. What? So dialogue's pretty much the same from here on out. So already, that's already half the workers done now. Your skivvy workmates, their overalls will probably need a quick rinse too. Yeah, no kidding. Alright. So now we shall make our way out to the... I don't think there's any more out there, is there? Okay, so anyways, as the washer, this is your way of defense, actually, by the way. It's dirty underwear, or clean underwear, I guess. I can't tell, honestly, but yeah. This is your attack, and I love the fact that they add in ba uh, the sound of banjo coughing. It just makes it all the more better. Alright. So that's three of the workmates done. Steps to the second floor again. And hopefully I'll remember... Well, I know for one in fact there is one here on the second floor, but I just... But it's like, it's like higher up at the same time. It's not that simple to get to. So I'm trying to figure out, first of all, where he is. Because the second floor is such a maze. It's always hard to find your way through. Wait, wait a second, wait. Have I gone through here yet? Let's see. I think this is actually what I want. Yes, it is. He's right there. Oh, crap. Yeah, keep in mind, you got you to gotta watch what you're doing here. Thankfully, it's not that far, actually, from here. Let's go through this door right here. Let's do this right. Don't. Thank you. 
almost fell off again. Alright, worker number four. Almost done here. Two thirds of the way down here. That's better. Okay, two more Skibby workmates. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I think at this point we can go up to the third floor. So, let's see if I can find that service elevator. Okay, it's not in here. Is it in here? No, it's not. Just a bunch of jerks. Might as well kill them, though. Apparently the... Uh, do I chance it? No, I'm not. Oh, well, I guess not. I have no choice. Okay, well, I got right anyways. Okay. Thank God. Alright, now let's see if I can find that service elevator. It's not that big, so it can't be that hard to find. I mean, the, by that I mean the second floor. It's not that big. How hard can it be to find it? Let's try going down here. Is it in Wumba's room? Uh, still not seeing it. Is it in the room with the, all the radioactive waste? No, it's right here. Okay, alrighty then. I just came through it anyways, like a few minutes ago. Why, why, how can I not find it anyways? Okay, four, three, here we go. So there's two more workmates, so obviously there's going to be one floor that doesn't have any of them. But I'm pretty sure there's something else he can do on the one that doesn't have them, but I'm not, I don't think so. Oh, but this is the one where you need the, where's that door you have to go through, that's right. Right here. Thank God I remember to destroy that, that, that box earlier. Okay, let's see what's in here. Hopefully one of our workmates, yes, right here, alright. Heavy soil wash if you don't mind. As always, of course. Now you'll notice that the also the workers themselves are dirty, but as soon as they put the clothes on, they're clean. They are clean instantly. So that that's totally how that works, right? All right, so we only got one more left. I think there's something else in here important. Just the worker, the two workers, the good, and the bad ones. All right. Now I'm gonna try and fit all this into one episode, but we're already up to, already up to 19 minutes here. But that's without all the well, what little cutting there is. So I might not be able to after all. Uh, but I think that's all we can do on this floor with the washer, I think. I think so. Well, let's just go up to the fourth floor for now. Select the floor, please. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so what's here on the fourth floor? Uh... Right up here. I know there's a door over here. Yes, thank god. Okay, so this door right here, this will take you to the quality control room where the jiggy is. So yes, this is how you get to that jiggy. After you complete that mission, you have to go come back here as the washer in order to get it. So here it is. And also, I think that's uh, there's a shock jump pad. Why? How would you get in here? Seriously, like, how can they expect you to get in here without the washer form? Because you can't go through this door, and you can't go up to that conveyor belt because it's way too high from the other side. That's very odd. Were they expecting you to cheat or something? They should reward you for cheating like that. That ain't right. Okay, well, anyways, I believe the last worker is on the fifth floor, so we're going to go up there right now and fin take care finish this business here. Find the service elevator. Oh, it's up here. Alright. Floor 5. Let's get to it. Now, Floor 5 is actually a location of the last Jinja we don't have quite yet. And it's a lot easier to get to it um, as Banjo-Kazooie. But if you're the washer form, you can still get to it, but it involves taking a hit. So that's the only way you can get up to it otherwise. Um, it's like right... Uh, well, actually, let's go on the other side. Right here! This is the last Jinjo right here. So, no, maybe you can't get to it as Magic Suit. Maybe you can't, okay. Well, anyways, the only way to get to it as the washer is to take a hit. Because it, you know, because it, like, it, it levitates you whenever you take a hit. So, that's the only way of getting up to this J Jinjo as the washer. But you have to get the tin tops to follow you first. 
And I can't seem to do that. Because, like, they only do it when, it's con when, it's the when I'm not ready, basically. There we go. Alright, that's all five Jinjos in Brunty Industries. And the last worker is up here. Yes. So glad I managed to do this in one fell swoop, except for the you know mumbo part, obviously. That soul team's overall washed. We'd like you to have this. Thank you. And there's our jiggy. All right, my friends. So we're gonna end off this episode here. Next time on Banjo Tooie, we're gonna take care of that business with uh with mumbo in the electromagnet chamber and this form once again for one last time, and then. We will uh, do whatever's next, because uh, pretty much what's next is pretty much what you think it's going to be. So see you guys next time for more Banjo-Tooie and Grunty Industries. Thank you. Goodbye.